Hey there, we're back for part two of the chapter three tutorial for the um, TI calculator. Um, I forgot to mention this in the earlier tutorial, but let me just say, I know I'm working with a TI-84 here, um, but basically the same steps will hold true for a TI-83 as well, so don't freak out. And the plus or the not plus, the silver edition, not silver edition, it's not going to matter too much. Um, only in some later chapters is there a significant difference. All right, back we go. So I've got to find the mean, the median, the mode, blah, 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 blah. So let me just show you how to do all that. If you have your data in here, you don't have to even be in this window if you don't want to be, um, but you can be. You press STAT from wherever you are, and you want to move to this CALC, C-A-L-C, the Calculate menu. So go to the right, and now the Calculate menu is dark, and you want to pick number one, one variable STATS. So let's press that, number one, or Enter, whichever way you like. Since it's already dark, if I press Enter, it'll choose that one, or you could just press number one. I'll choose Enter this time. Now, you have a choice here. If you just press enter right now, it'll work all the one variable stats for the list one, L1. Well, that's where our data was, so that's totally groovy. But if you put it in L2 or L3, you'd have to tell it that. Um, so let me just show you how to do that. So you'd say one variable stats, don't press anything, and then you press second, and then pick the number where your list is. See above one, two, three, four, five, six. See how above them they say L1, L2, L3, and so on. Well, my data was in list 1, so I'm going to tell it L1. If you put your data in L2, you'd tell it second 2. Whichever place column that you have your data in, that's what you tell it. Now, you don't have to tell it that. If you just did one variable stats, you could have just pressed it Enter, but then it will only do it for L1 alone. So if you're always going to put your data in L1, that's fine, but if you put it in anything else, then you got to tell it where, where to go to look. Then you press Enter and swing, we have all of this lovely information. Look at that. All right, this top number right here, 106.7, that's this guy, the mean. Okay, bold it. The median, the median, okay, do you see this little arrow guy here? Okay, that means that there's more information downward. So if you go down, 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 you can see a whole bunch of stuff. Oh, look at that, median, 109, right there bold 109. The mode, well, I'll get to the mode in a second. The min, why don't I do that while I'm sitting right here, because you can see the min, it's right here at 78. You can see Q1 is 105, which is the first quartile, the median of the lower half, if you will. The median, we already said, was 109, but I can say it again. I'm not afraid. Whoopsie. Hold on. I just typed something wrong, though. Q3, which is the upper quartile, the 75th percentile or in other words the median of the top half, that's 115, and the max was 118. Now just keep clear, it also tells you that you typed in 11 data points. That's good to know because it says the date right here in the problem that there should be 11. So if it had said 10 or 12 you would have known you did something wrong. Alright, standard deviation is a little bit funky, so let me show you. This is a sample. Since it's a sample, the standard deviation is going to be the 11.65S. Right? If these 11 scores were the only 11 scores that ever existed or ever would exist, i.e. if it was a population, then you would have used sigma, which is the 11.11. Right? Sigma is standard deviation if your data over here is a population. If your data is a sample, which in 99% of the time it's going to be, then you're going to use S, which is a little bit bigger, allows for a little bit more wiggle. Now the variance is not given to you in the calculator, but you can find it. Um, what you have to do is you have to take this standard deviation, which is 11.654, you can just type 11.6541, whatever, that's fine, that's enough decimal places, and you press the squared button, enter there's your variance, 135.818, or 82, let's do it that way. Alrighty then, there we go, that's the nitty gritty of all of those. Um, let's get back to, oh, one last thing, the mode, in case you didn't notice it, it isn't in there. Um, the calculator does not calculate the mode, bummer, I know. All right, I'll see you here for a few more tricks and trades and how to find some of this other stuff.